Welcome back. This is part two of uh, the supercharger intercooler cleanup. So we got the turkey pan up here. So I went to O'Reilly's and they provided purple power. That's the only one they had. There's other degreasers from the cans, and but I want to try this one out and it seems pretty works pretty good. We just cleaned out the the intercooler and it looks pretty damn good. I'll show you guys on this side. So you could see if before it was nasty, nasty. So it's all cleaned up. So we're gonna move on to the turkey pen over here and spray some purple power. And my brother's uh, one of the bolts broke from the coil packs, so we're gonna try to uh, use an easy out kit and take it out. Or reverse thread that or something, but we'll take it out. But for now, let's spray some of this and let's make magic. We're just gonna let it sit down for at least 10 15 minutes just to soak it in, and then we'll go in and clean it all along. Then I'm gonna have to prep the whole uh, turkey pan to get it painted. So maybe that's gonna be in another video, but I'll keep you guys updated. So for now, we're gonna let it sit and we'll be back once we start removing all the fucking grease and all that oil in there. Stay tuned. Okay, so it's been sitting for about 14 minutes, 50 seconds, but I decided, uh, to use a uh, wire brush to take everything out and it's, it's coming out pretty good. It takes, uh, the oil comes out by itself, but there's some parts that it's really stuck up in there. So it really kept the grip. But yeah, like on the corner, it's very useful. Purple part did pretty good, man, just by sitting on there. So. We're still in the cleaning, cleaning side. Get this whole thing pretty, looking at least like clean. If everything comes out, just spray it on there. So purple power and a power wire, a uh, wire brush or whatever you have. Use it. Because it does work. Works pretty good. So I'll come back once everything's dry up and I clean it up pretty good, guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so uh, just letting it dry more, but that's how it's coming out. Everything's coming out pretty good. I hope you guys can see pretty good. There's some sun coming out, but I'm in the shade. So. Everything came cleaned up pretty good. Use a wire brush and purple power. Works pretty good. Everything comes out. I cleaned out the outside too, so just letting all these little edges um, dry up. That's why it looks like kind of dirty, but we're gonna clean it a little bit more once it's dry. Show you the bottom part. You can't see that well, but it's all cleaned up. We cleaned everything up, so we're gonna dominate that too as well. But beef, man, it was, you guys seen it, it was pretty nasty. Up next is gonna be the supercharger, but I'm gonna go pick that up and I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so I said it was gonna be the blower, but unfortunately, my brother, uh, He's out working and he left the blower inside the truck and took the keys. So it's inside his truck and I'm not gonna break into it. So I'll show you. Just look at all that mess, man. Look at all that mess, guys. So we're gonna clean up the, the elbow and the throttle body, stock throttle body. Nasty. So I'm gonna clean this up and 
I'm gonna soak it up for a bit. Just throw some purple power in there and make magic. Hold on. Well, the gasket's stuck pretty good in there. I really don't wanna mess with it. I'm just gonna go on top of it for now. I'm gonna call O'Reilly's, my local parts store, and see if they have any caskets there. But yeah, we'll be back once we start cleaning this thing up, guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so we are done cleaning everything up. We let the turkey pan sit in the sun for a while so it could dry up. So I mean, super damn fucking clean. So. Purple Power did its job. It purpose. Okay, let's check the plenium. This thing came out pretty damn good too. It's all the way clean up to the back if you can guys see that. On the bottom too. There all the, the oil that was there. Came out pretty good. Throttle body. I couldn't take off that little blue color in there, but the rest, everything's clean. The bottom side, let me open the throttle body for you. Clean. No more oil stains or, you know. Fortunately, the blower, like I said, it's inside the truck. Couldn't get it open. I don't have the keys. So now I'm just going to cover the intercooler and um let everything sit might as well put it back in here uh so i can start um preparing the surface for paint uh, we still don't know what color we're gonna go with um but we'll see we'll see we'll see what colors are out, out there there's blue there's black there's red but for the blower i don't know if we're gonna go with the blue maybe this is gonna go with a, like a silver so it can stands out and then the blue blower on top but we'll see we'll see what's gonna go but uh so that's part two once we get the blower and everything uh well eventually once we get the blower out of the truck i'll give you guys another update on that as well after the cleanup but for now it's it is what it is so stay tuned, till next time.